Hey everyone, this video is going to cover quite a complex topic, Flickr Tech, for the heroes Shaolin and Highlander. For those who don't know what Flickr Tech is, to put it simply, it's a term used for when an attack animation or indicator is shown for a brief moment, but is quickly changed into the proper attack shortly afterwards. This is usually the result of a bug within the game, registering two valid attack inputs one after the other in short succession under the right circumstance. This will have the game play out the latter attack input, but still show the start of the former attack input first. Flicker tech can be quite disorientating towards unsuspecting opponents, and in Shaolin's case, can have quite literally broken effects on gameplay, so there is quite practical use for this bug in live games. However, I do advocate for the devs to fix this tech as soon as they can. Without further ado, let's get started with Shaolin. For Shaolin, there are multiple ways he can do flicker tech, but it entirely revolves around his chi stance, along with what attack input led him into said stance. We'll start with entering chi stance via a heavy attack. To do a flicker from this stance, you need to release the heavy attack button from any direction you choose, but then quickly press the light attack button shortly afterwards, to swap the heavy attack into a light attack. The attack will briefly appear as a heavy attack from chi stance, with animation properties depending on direction, but will then finish the attack using the chi stance light attack. This is most practically used with Shaolin's top unblockable, then changing into top light. As you can see with the clip, it's quite disorientating and hard to tell what attack was supposed to occur, but is even more disorientating with the fact that a slow unblockable got changed into a fast light attack, that more than likely just blinded your opponent. Next with Shaolin's flicker from Chi Stance when entering via a light attack. The method to do this flicker is basically identical to Chi Stance heavy attack, but instead start with releasing the light attack, then quickly pressing the heavy attack button right afterwards. This is most practically done for flickering to side heavies, but can be done into a top heavy as well to once again disorientate your opponent with which attack is intended to be used. A couple things to note. Despite what may be appearing on screen and in side-by-side -side comparisons, none of the flicker techs speed up any of Shaolin's attacks. The normal version of the attack and the flicker attack are both the same speed. What is instead going on? is that the attack animations and indicators are sped up and shortened, to make up for the lost attack time that was spent on the flicker attack that was not actually released, usually resulting in a 50 to 100 millisecond cut of the actual attack animations and indicators. Moving on to Highlander, his flicker tech is slightly less impactful in games, but still has interesting and practical uses. His flickers are also a bit easier to understand. Highlander is able to perform his flicker attacks from any move that allows him to perform a chained heavy from the initial attack. This includes Celtic Curse. To perform the flicker tech after your initial attack, when inputting for a chain heavy, have the heavy input be in one direction, but then instantly input a chain heavy in a different direction. This will make Highlander appear as if the chained attack will come from the first direction, but then perform the attack in the second direction, once again disorientating your opponent. Unlike Shaolin, there is no indicator change, nor an indicator cutoff. However, your character will glow slightly red as if you were entering offense states along with incorrect and super choppy animations being played in place of the heavy attack. This flick attack is most practical to use after an initial heavy or chained light attack. Other methods of leading to the flick attack are not as practical for distraction purposes. And that's all I have for you today. This is by far my most researched video to date, so I hope you all enjoyed it. Extra special thanks to WraithBM for helping me record this video, and special thanks to Freeze, Vlad the Inhaler, and H2O2Go, and all the folks running the Ferrana Information Hub for providing me with as much information as possible towards this video. I hope you all learnt something new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.